extraordinary steps to reel in Sequest. 13 Investigates has exposed a list of violations at the Boulevard Mall Aquarium, and that investigation resulted in action from animal control. And Chief Investigator Darcy Spears details the crackdown and uncovers even more new allegations. Interaction with furry otters and cute coatis is the main attraction at Sequest. It's the moneymaker. But at what cost to the animal's well-being and the customers, for that matter? We've had bites from Cody's because they were so hungry. Withholding food to force animals to interact with guests who pay to feed them is just one reason this former employee decided to leave Sequest. She asked us to conceal her identity for fear of retaliation. Coatis have bitten kids. I've seen two to three that have actually broken skin. We've had cappies chewing um, holes through clothes. And the lorikeets would get super food aggressive and go and bite ears and necks, and sometimes they broke skin. She just got bit by the... She says Sequest tried to keep it quiet so animal control wouldn't find out. I don't feel like half of the reports got for animal control. Sometimes they did an incident report, or otherwise they would bribe guests. What she calls bribery came in the form of coupons for free admission. For the five-star reviews that they actually do for Sequest, you write your name for an employee on the back of a card, says if you rate us, you can hear that here's this free pass. So if somebody got bit, they're just like, oh, here's all this stuff. You know, sometimes and they're like, did you really want an incident report? And they'd be like, oh no, it's okay, we've got all this stuff. Sequest has never agreed to do an on-camera interview for any of the investigative reports we've done, and that is still the case. Most recently, they sent a statement saying, we encourage guests to share their experience online. We provide a two-sided card that has the employee's name so we can track team member performance. The backside of the card has an offer to encourage guests to return, however, has never been contingent on a review. It was a bribery game. I've seen it happen multiple times. But that's the least of what she saw while working at Sequest. She says deaths, lies, and cover-ups were considered standard operating procedure. She says this baby Asian water monitor got badly burned and others had parts of their tails gnawed off. They were put in with fish that are very related to piranha that had eaten their tails. It's down to bone and tendon at their tips, both of the male and female. And it was really unfortunate when you climb up there and there's blood everywhere. She says this tegu lizard died while on display. Because she was stuck in an enclosure in the back and it was so cold, the animal forced itself into hibernation and they put her out in the water and she drowned. But it was the death of this otter we first reported in February that sparked action by animal control. And then they just replaced it and they're like, oh no, that's the same otter, you know, because yeah. guests don't know any better. Another former employee who also feared retaliation by Sequest added her voice to the chorus of complaints animal control received after our initial investigation. County authorities followed up and in April revoked Sequest's exotic animal permit for possessing unpermitted otters and coati mundi, noting the original permitted animals are no longer at the location. Animal control threatened criminal prosecution for any future violations. Former employee Chris Stanzel. And it was really disgusting to kind of see how these animals are pretty much made into attractions and just numbers on a sheet. And so when one died, it was just replaced it with another one. Sequest tried to appeal the permit revocation, but lost. The arbitrator's decision noting that when the otter died in August, it was replaced and Sequest failed to notify the county. The arbitrator also took issue with illegal breeding after an otter named Hazelnut gave birth in February. She wrote, Sequest should have recognized that the breeding would violate the exotic animal permit. They were made aware of this potential violation, and instead of remedying it, they attempted to capitalize and profit from it by issuing a press release about an event exhibiting the baby otters on Valentine's Day. Sequest tried to argue lack of communication by animal control, but the arbitrator said that did not change the facts. She questioned how Sequest could claim the otters are diligently cared for when they didn't even know Hazelnut was pregnant until approximately one week prior to giving birth. They hire anybody who will say yes, do what they want, and there you go. This former employee said many of her colleagues had no experience working with animals. I can promise you they're not getting the handling and teaming they need. This isn't a place to promote anything. I've told anybody with children this is wrong. 
third grade teacher Christine Lawrence agrees. You have to dig deeper and you have to look to see what you're supporting. She successfully got her school to stop handing out Sequest coupons and thinks the entire district should follow suit. She questions the educational value of the Sequest environment for kids. So they're learning zero. They're learning nothing from that. And as for the animals, they're not going to have natural behaviors. They're stressed. Um, they're being prodded and poked by people. These animals are dangerous and they're not meant to be pulled out every hour so you can touch them. I guarantee you there's other ways to educate your kids. Sequest would not answer any questions about the unpermitted animals or the arbitrator's findings. We do know that they shipped or sold off most of the otters and coatis, keeping only two of each, which is all they're allowed now under a new exotic animal permit. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.